Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. How many Nigerians who voted for APC have you given foreign education? Nigerians hit back Lawa. After the news of the Senate bill on repented Boko Haram, the government has since been planning to give them education including foreign education to the terrorists. Some Nigerian organization, including Serap, has asked the Senate president to drop the bill. A lot of Nigerians have disagreed with the development, adding that it will not convert or cause a conversion to these terrorists. And who said they are, they are repentant? They have no public declaration by the terrorists for the people to truly know that they have repented. No confession, nothing, and our government have decided to give terrorists foreign education. Some of them are not even Nigerians, and well many Nigerians are looking forward to a good education. Some Nigerians pour out their hearts saying, how many Nigerians who voted Buhari into power and also all APC candidates, both small and big offices, have been given any sort of education, talk less of foreign education. Nigerians, you can see that this government is really out to destroy Nigeria. We need to look carefully. Hope this is not a system of payback to, do, to those that they have used and have promised to give this sort of incentive. Hence, they are coming to us to the public to make it look like they are just trying to rehabilitate them. Rehabilitation, if they are rehabilitating them, then we should know what they are rehabilitating them for and what makes it not possible for them to be rehabilitated in Nigeria. Can these things not be put in, put in place? How come they have to be sent abroad for education? The same very Western education that their uh, Boko Haram stands against and stands to criticize. Hence, according to them, the fight and violence that they don't believe in Western education. How come this very Western education is what the government is compensating them with? Well, Nigerians, you've heard it all. I smell the wrath. Very, very well, I smell the wrath. This goes to tell you and to show you that there is a conspiracy theory going on. Whether you believe it or not, there is something going on that the Nigerian people, we are not totally privy to. Mm -hmm. Nigerians, mm -hmm. if we keep quiet like this and allow these people to do what they are doing, we'll be surprised. We'll wake up one morning and they would have moved Nigeria completely to the edge of the sea, just remaining to throw it in. Because of their actions, and their actions is speaking and is showing the kind of heart and the kind of mindset they have. Real Nigerians are only looking for 50,000 to pay school fees, you know. Well-meaning, educated, intelligent children, all just looking for admission that I've not even found. What system have you put in place to say, you know what, write an exams. The first 200 that passes this exam very well will be sent abroad to come back and make the nation and make Nigeria a better place. There is no such provision. There is no such thing in place. Yet, they want to send Boko Haram um, abroad. I tell you what, they are sending them abroad so that when they come back, they can be well sophisticated, well trained in the act of terrorism, well trained in the act of, you know, so that they can come back and um, carry out their master bidding properly. Do you know that they found out that some of these Boko Haram are not even Nigerian citizens? Some of them are from the Niger Republic, Mali, and around. Remember what Maiti Allah said? Nobody has picked that word or has really looked into it. Maiti Allah said he's inviting all Fulanis from all around Africa to come into Nigeria to fight. That they are already stationed and they are already positioned to cause trouble in Nigeria. That they are displacing people so that they can take over the land. That the land of Nigeria was given to them by God. Guess what? The government of Nigeria did not answer a word to that. Nobody have mentioned anything.
Nobody has said a word to what the Nigerian, to what, um, to what this guy has said. Hmm. My people, hmm. hey, hey, you can see that if somebody else says this, oh, if somebody else say, ah, uh, if uh, if uh, uh, Showere says, youths, stand up, let's stand up for our rights. The government will arrest him, even when the court say bail him, release him on bail, they will not even listen or adhere to it. Why? They consider him a national threat. But my ATL is not a national threat. So it's not. <laughs> um, Nigerians, <laughs> you can see that there's a conspiracy theory going on. <laughs> hey, they, they know what they are doing. They want to send them for foreign education so that they'll be well sophisticated. In, uh, in causing trouble in Nigeria, right? <laughs> mm. uh, Nigerians, <laughs> this government, I tell you, most of them have a hand in what is happening. For if they don't have a hand, they, these things will not be continuing and this thing will not carry on like this. There is somebody somewhere who is sponsoring, who is actually making sure that this, uh, this their evil tribe that's why you are seeing it. That's why you are. That's why it's continuing. Guess what? They are being sponsored. Don't you know? They are being sponsored. There is sponsorship for them. Didn't you hear what Yobe Elder said? That they have seen the helicopter again. They even took the picture of the helicopter delivering food to the Boko Haram, arms, medications, and giving them all what's, what have you to survive. For if the government of Nigeria, really, if they want to black out Boko Haram, it doesn't take much. Did you know what they used to bring them into Nigeria? Where have they been that they brought them into Nigeria? With Nigeria army uh, a plane, they brought them into the country with Nigeria army plane. They brought them in and they promised them, you know, homes, uh, re, uh, jobs, their wives and their children. This is them. This is, this is, you know, Buhari is from the Fulani tribe. This is them coming, you know, places that they've displaced people from. This is them coming in to, you know, to, to reoccupy those places. This is them coming in, what, they, what they've been promised. They are coming, they are, they are, they are promised, the promise they were promised are being fulfilled. So they are coming in in a grand style, being celebrated. Some of them are not even Nigerian citizens. Nigerian citizens, some of them don't have houses. With not, due to natural disaster, some living very close to the sea and all that, are uh, living terrible lives. But Boko Haram, headsmen are being celebrated. They are even brought back into the country in a grand style. Guys, think for a minute. Think about it. Think about it. Is there no more to this that you can, than beneath the eyes? Are you sure there is no something that is more to this than beneath the eyes? Hmm. There is something more. Hmm. Hey. Hey, Nigerians, <laughs> now the Senate president has a, is, is, is really the, the most important thing for him now is to, is to sponsor the bill to make sure the House approve it. My question is, all the, the people in the House, are they all Northerners and are they all Muslims? How come no other person can speak to contradict this bill? How come everybody sits there and listens to it and nobody says, what you're doing is wrong? I will not support this bill, or we, or we should not support this bill. Or let us rather sponsor Nigerians. How come everybody keeps quiet? How come everybody is silent? Yeah, in the House of Senate, everybody keeps quiet, and nobody, nobody is speaking up, nobody, nobody is saying a word. Everybody just keeps quiet, and the bill is being read, and you will be hearing it has passed the first reading, the second reading. When it was passing the first reading, all the South, South, South East and South West governors and senators in the House. So nobody spoke up. You are all happy with it. Or is there, a, is there something that has been blown in the air before the meeting comments that nobody should talk? Is there, a more, is there more to this than we see? Or have you guys been bribed? It's a question. Have you guys been bribed? Or what, why, can't, why is it that nobody can speak? Why is everybody just quiet and dumb and domiciled like there is something in the air that makes people not to be able to question uh, evil? Yeah, because this, the, the reading was not done to senior president and two other people. I want to believe that more than half of the senators were there because for every sitting they get paid. So they don't want to miss their, their, their payments and allowances. I don't know what law they are even bringing into the country. That the South, South, South East and South West governors, they all sit there. Nobody says a word when these bills are being, are being read 
and we hear it's passed the first reading, it's passed the second reading, it's almost been approved or it has been approved. It goes to tell you something, that there is a conspiracy theory. I would like to hear your take and your thoughts on this matter. This is my opinion. Uh, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. We're here to keep you up to date with all that is going on in Nigeria and around the world. God bless. Have a good day. Bye.